Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how you can paint this autumn time grass. I'm really excited for today's tutorial because not only is it beautiful and festive, but also extremely easy. So let's get started and don't forget to like and subscribe. For supplies today, we need watercolor paper cut to any size, some brushes. Now I'm gonna use three different ones today, but you really could do this painting with just one brush if you need to. First, I have a medium round brush for the background wash. I have a nice thin round brush for some thin detail lines. And the main brush I'll be using is a number one size small angle brush. I also have water, a paper towel, and of course, watercolor paints. I am only using three colors today and they are all very similar. I've got a golden brown, a light brown, and a dark brown. If you like the exact color names, just let me know. So to start off with this painting, let's do a simple wet on wet background. Paint the middle area of your paper using only water first. Then take some of the light brown color and dab it onto the wet paper. Then take a little bit of the dark brown and add that here and there. Just let the colors blend and kind of do their own thing. And keep in mind that you'll want the background to be fairly light in value. Once as your background wash is completely dry, then you are ready to start painting the grass. To start painting the grass, let's paint the stems first. You can either use the small round brush or the angle brush to paint the stems. I'm gonna use the angle brush so that I can make the base a little thicker and then thin it out towards the top. You'll probably want to use either the light brown or the dark brown for the stems, and I'd recommend painting two or three of them. I went out and picked some grasses recently that I am using for my reference today, so I'll post those in the upper right hand corner of this video so you can see what I'm looking at. After my main three grass stems have been painted, I'm also going to add in a few long blades of grass too. I'll just do a few right now and then I'll add more at the very end to really finish my painting off. To paint the tips of these grasses, I'm gonna paint them in layers. For the first layer, I'm gonna start with taking some of the dark brown and watering it down to a really light value. So these parts will sort of fade into the background a little. To paint these, I'm using my angle brush and just painting two small strokes connected together, forming sort of a V shape. Then I'll put some on each grass top and I'm gonna curve the tops of my grass to the right. So the majority of these will be to the right side of the stem. After my first coat of the watered down brown is on, I'm gonna take some of the pure light brown and paint more on the top using the same stroke. Now it's time for the third layer, again painting the same thing but using a little bit of the golden brown.
For the fourth layer, we'll use some pure dark brown and use this color very sparingly. You really only need just a hint of the dark brown. For my last layer, I'm going to water down some of the light brown and add hints of it here and there just to fill in a few of the empty spaces. Now that the tips have been painted, let's take the thin skinny brush and using the golden brown, paint some thin lines connecting the grass tips to the grass stems. This will really connect and complete the look of the grass. Now that I can see how the composition of my painting turned out, I'm going to finish it off and balance it out by adding some grass blades stemming from the base using a variety of the colors. And here is your beautiful, festive autumn time grass. Thanks for painting with me today. I hope you had fun. Make sure you check out more of my autumn time tutorials. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.